All right, so we're shooting the 10, the factory Glock 10 millimeter. Hold on, finger off trigger, is that empty? Yeah, empty, yeah. Yeah. Put two on each of the targets. All right. Good. Speed load the middle one. Is that a jam? Uh, I know. Did, 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 did you have a failure to feed? Oh, yes. You did okay. If it happens again, pause. I want to look at it. Okay. Well, now again? Yeah, yeah. Dump, unload on the middle one. Oh, okay. Stop. Come closer. Come closer. I want to see that. I want to see what's happening with this. Weird. Huh. Okay, so it looks like it's starting to push a little bit to the left. Yeah. Put the gun back at the battery. Don't put your hands near the front. Try to try. Oh. The grip, there's grips back here for a reason. Try to grab those grips. Right. Yeah, okay. Don't put you. All right, back up a little bit. Right there. Go ahead. Speed shoot it fast. Good. Good. Empty. Get another one in there. Oh, stop, stop. Let me see that. All right, so you had another failure to feed. Just like, uh, Give yeah. me. All right. Let me see that. Yeah, All right, so that looks like that. Give me a mag. I want to see if it's your. Give me, give me a full mag. Full mag. Yeah, the only one that has that in All right. All right. Uh, uh, go, go load up. All right. Yeah, get, load me up a full mag. Okay. Pause the camera. All right, so I'm going to try and speed shoot this, this 10 millimeter and see if it will jam up on me. That's empty. It's not jamming up on me, so it's definitely you. What, yes. what you're doing is, let me see it down. when I'm standing here, I'm taking a boxing stance, okay? Like like I'm gonna fight, right? Like I'm like I'm gonna fight. So yes. I'm basically pushing off this foot, driving the gun forward. Yeah. And what's happening is that's making the gun move around. If you notice that, I went a little bit slower than you. Yes. I got more hits, right? That's true. Yeah. I did get more <laughs> hits, right? Now, the, so it's a combination of I was going slower. I was, here, come stand over here. Yeah. <laughs> right. uh, yeah, yeah, so we can see you. I want everybody to know, hi, this is Ben. Yeah, <laughs> this is my good friend, Ben. <laughs> okay, so, well, actually, don't stand in front of the gun. Uh, stand, stand here. Yeah, yeah, there you go, good. Right, good, so, so it's a combination of, I was going slower, so I was getting more hits, but me also going slower allowed me to control the gun. So no, on the one hand, I had a, I had a more solid platform, when my right foot's back, I'm driving the gun forward, right? I'm squeezing hard with my hands, right? Um, I'm paying more attention to my front sight to make sure, because I don't want to pull that trigger unless my sight's on target, right. you know? So, so me going a little bit slower allowed me to hit more targets, but it also allowed me to, 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 to keep, to make the gun cycle. Because here's the thing, this is a recoil operated gun. Yes. In order for this gun to work, the bottom part of this gun has to stay steady while top is going back and forth. Yeah, okay? That's the only part that really has to be. Right, that's the only part that should be moving. It should be going boom, 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 boom. If the gun's going, and I'm sure that when I was shooting it, it was moving around a little bit more too yes, because, so. because of the 10 millimeter. Yeah. But it was probably moving around a little bit less, yes. which is why it didn't jam with me. Yeah. With you, there was probably a little bit more motion. Yeah. So as this thing was, I'll just pinch myself. So, I, so as this thing was moving around, it was bleeding off 
energy. Yeah. Um, and that's what was causing jams. Because you've got at least like three or four on camera, yeah. and then you've got another four or five before off yeah. camera. So you're consistently getting jams. Yeah. So when I'm doing it, there's no jam. So uh, it's most likely you. All right. Um, now, here's the thing. Uh, this is a factory Glock. Let me show the camera. This is a factory Glock. Okay. Um, so, so here's the thing. The problem that I'm seeing here with this, I see with like Palm 80, you know. Yeah. But it's but it's also it's usually a, a person, a, a, a user error as well. Um, yeah. I find it with the Palm 80s, they're a little bit le uh, less uh, forgiving. Yeah. So with this, you can move around a little bit more, and you're less prone to jamming. With yeah. the, with the palm rays, I find that if you you know if you move around a little bit, you know if you don't if you don't hold it still, they're going to jam even faster. So that's oh. just something interesting. Uh, but the, the the real interesting thing is I'm used to running these things with with the uh, with the optics on top of it. Yeah. So now I'm not used to gripping the thing, so that's why it hit me before a little bit. <laughs> so I, I, I kind of got a little bit spoiled with just racking. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, all that. Speaking of uh, being spoiled, also I got used to just grabbing the optic and just doing that. You know? Yeah, that's fair. And but like speaking of like shooting optics and all that, we've been shooting optic uh, pistols all day. So what's your thoughts on uh, going back to irons all of a sudden? You know? Yeah. Um, I didn't have that much of a problem. I really didn't. Uh, like in other words, I was able to pretty much. I like having the optics better. Yeah. Um, it the nice thing about the optics is like I can look at the target over there. Yeah. I can focus on the target. And my reticle is on the target, so a single right. point of aim. Okay, so with the, with the with the pistol, there's three points of aim. You yes. got rear sight, front sight, target. Yes. So you have to basically focus on the front sight, but that's not entirely a natural thing. The natural no, yeah. thing that you want to do is look at that over there, exactly. not look at this little thing over here that's a couple of feet in front of you. Boy, red dot for the future. <laughs> yeah. So 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 uh, yeah. so and in a stretch like here, I'm not under stress. So it was really easy for me to bring my focus back from the target where it normally is, bring it yeah. back to the front sight over here. Um, but I think in a stressful situation that that yeah. might be a lot more difficult. And, yeah. and here's the thing: it's like one of those things where, regardless how much you practice shooting with your yeah. with, with your iron sights, um, until you get into a stressful situation, yeah. you don't know how quickly you're going to be to get back to your front sight yeah. point. And here's the thing: uh, even if you're been in situations where you've done it just yeah. because you did it the first two times right let's say yeah. you're meeting somebody that I mean, you're, you're thinking of going to the air force right i am in the air force oh you're in the air force yeah okay cool i got look, air force man here <laughs> um so so the, the the interesting is even if you're in a situation where you, you've been in combat right and you react a certain way a couple of times yeah. it doesn't necessarily mean that the fourth or fifth time you're gonna react the same way. Oh, we have victory. That's cool. Um, so anyway, uh, that was fun, a lot of fun. Uh, I'm, I'm glad I got a chance to test out your 10 millimeter. I don't get to shoot 10 millimeter that often. Um, but that, that was a really fun experiment. I, I, I very much enjoyed watching you jam the, the, the gun up. Oh, thanks. Well, Air Force guys, man, they jam up guns. I mean, uh, not in the army anymore. Cool, good stuff. Let me turn this camera. Yeah. Let's. Uh...